I recently posted up on this channel a question of what do you want to see in Halo Infinite and you all responded. So what does the community want out of Halo Infinite? Well stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another commentary video. We're doing some Q&A awesomeness about Halo Infinite. If you like these kind of Q&A videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see more content like this. If you're excited about Halo Infinite, let me know in the comment section down below. I do write a lot of comments to try to reply to most of them as well. And as we're a Halo news and informational channel, you definitely want to subscribe for when Halo Infinite does get revealed on the 23rd. It's going to be definitely covered on this channel in depth. Talking about the 23rd, we're also doing a live stream watch party on the Twitch channel. Link in the description down below and the pinned comment as well. So if you guys want to follow me over there, you get a chance to join in with the watch party. It's going to be a ton of fun, guys. So let's get right into the content here. I asked you guys the question, with the reveal coming out so soon, what do you want to see with Halo Infinite's reveal coming on July 23rd? And you guys replied a lot. In fact, I got like 69, that's right, 69 comments on this one. A lot of kind of repeated topics on this one, so I kind of good feel of what you guys want to see. But we're going to go over some of the highest rated questions and statements in this post. So if you guys want to stay up to date or be part of the next Q&A session, make sure to tap subscribe to the channel, guys, to keep up to date whenever those posts do go live. Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower. That's one heck of a name right there. I think we'll see to just what extent of an open world this game will be. I've seen people theorizing that the entire ring will be explorable. And while it's actually possible now with thanks to the flight simulator technology, I am severely doubt that'll be like that. Personally, I think that if Halo Infinite will be open world, that will be similar to Destiny, but with sections of the ring instead of planets. So far, there's only been alluding to being on a ring, which was alluded to with the Morse code and the announcement trailer of Zeta Halo. We had a bit of a reconfirmation of it when it came to the pilot's console and the Discover Hope trailer, it mentioned Zeta on it written as well. So we're pretty much confident that it's happening on Zeta Halo. Now that hasn't been officially confirmed, but that's all but confirmed basically by 343 at this point. And from the announcement trailer, I did get a very big vibe of open world because of all these towers look in different sections and how wide of an area that Warhog had to travel in, I could imagine it being rather open in that situation. Maybe, or maybe not necessarily like an open world, but more just kind of like a open area where you kind of have to find your way through. I recently played through Combat Evolved just doing some challenges and I noticed with the map design on it, it doesn't just tell you where to go or just force you down the alleyway. It's kind of more open-ended about where to go. It's not so straightforward of you need to go from A to B until like a waypoint pops up on your screen when you've been taking too long essentially. And I think I would like to see something like that come back with Halo Infinite. Halo campaigns are very tailored experiences that are very cinematic and it's hard to replicate that kind of feeling with an open world. Though it is possible to a certain extent, but maybe not to such a grand scale that they might want to achieve when it comes to having a much more direct traditional campaign like they've had with like Halo 2, 3, 4, Reach, and all that other kind of stuff. I mentioned in the flight simulator technology, if you don't know, there's a new flight simulator coming out with this fall, and it looks quite impressive as it's mapped the entire world, literally like the entire world to scale, which is absolutely insane because it what it's doing is taking the images from being images overlaying it with the elevation changes and things like that and then saving all that information on Azure servers and then streaming that information to your game so when you need it it can pull that information. Now there is an offline mode and stuff like that as well. Uh, this also basically says that there will be a way to make these games larger and crazier than we've ever experienced with Azure servers uh, as long as you can have an online connection. And that's a big thing though because you definitely want to have the people who have the offline experience that have the same feelings and experiences with the game as you would the online service uh, minus the multiplayer obviously and so I don't know if they really would go that far when it comes to like the ring experience itself it certainly is a possibility as they can do some cloud storage and stream it to your game that's an in very interesting point I was not thinking about that because I've you know I've known about flight simulator but I haven't followed it too much and having that as a possibility is 
almost endless really what they could pull off. I think we'll see lots of brutes sprinting and we'll hear Cortana talking about something super vague and a glimpse of her. I'm assuming about that kind of level as well. We'll probably get to understand who the main enemy is, uh, who our main factions are going to be fighting against. And of course, we got to know like what's the current state of Cortana because where Halo 5 left off was kind of a bit of a situation. This game does take place two years after the events of Halo 5. So there's a lot of stuff that might happen between them. You might know more with the release of Shadows of Reach. That uh, book takes place just months before the events of Halo Infinite. So we should have a little bit better understanding as we get closer to that date. When it comes to seeing this, I'm, this sounds pretty much straightforward as we probably will understand maybe like some glimpse of certain specifics. We'll probably understand some basics of gameplay, whether or not sprinting is going to be in there, boosting, clambering, all that other kind of stuff. Uh, we'll have basics of that because I'm pretty sure most campaign gameplay basics we're going to be transferring over to the multiplayer side of things as well and yeah i can totally see like a vague glimpse of cortana and stuff like that because a lot of what i think what she's gonna be doing and what's gonna be your purpose in the game is gonna be tied directly to the story which would involve spoilers and obviously you don't want to spoil the game on your first reveal which is going to be a campaign reveal as well you guys saw so I, I saw a lot of comments about multiplayer we'll get into that later in this video statement number two is from the diamond 23 i think we'll see some grass and rocks i mean frankie on twitter did also confirm that there will be dirt in halo infinite and uh you know i saw a lot of you guys also in the chat replying that saying yeah maybe we'll be lucky if we get some air as well i mean that's uh that's requesting a lot Legendary says, I hope we get a good 8 to 10 minutes of gameplay of the campaign and an announcement that the Halo Infinite beta is live now. I would expect probably about a 10, 10 to 15 minute showing of Halo Infinite as, you know, this is going to be one game showed at the Xbox, you know, studio game studio reveal. And so there's going to be multiple games shown right here. I wouldn't expect the presentation to be much longer than an hour, hour and a half at the absolute most. And with all the games that Xbox is planning to show at this reveal, I could not imagine the Halo Infinite section being anything more than 20 minutes at tops. I can imagine getting a little bit of extra time as it's probably going to be like the flagship game that's going to sell Xbox consoles. So I can imagine something like that. Uh, but though when it comes to the Halo Infinite beta, I would assume it to be maybe not announced on the live stream itself, maybe on the Halo Waypoint post. They did mention that they do plan to start out the uh, flighting process for Halo Infinite rather small and then growing as you get closer and closer to reveal of the release date. So I'd be very surprised if they do announce the beta is live right now because everyone's going to jump in it's going to overload the servers everyone's going to get mad and it's just going to be a big pain in the ass right there pretty much but i think legendary is on the point that we're going to get like a solid eight to ten minutes of this pure gameplay and we can speculate even more after that Brickin fricker says i think that they will totally avoid the topic of sprint and then elaborate on it after the event in a tweet this kind of touches on what i'm also talking about like how there's gonna be tweets there's gonna be a halo waypoint post after this so we will get more details i will definitely make videos about those details if there's something worth noting as well I mean, I, we have done every time since so i wouldn't expect anything different this time around especially with a gameplay reveal now when it comes to avoiding topics like sprint i think that's kind of something you can't avoid just because uh that's directly tied to the gameplay we'll know if there's sprint in halo infinite by this reveal if not uh, if they're kind of vague about it, they certainly will talk about it in the waypoint post, like I mentioned with a tweet. I think it kind of goes inside with that. But uh, I think we'll get gameplay standard mechanics down and we'll understand that much better when it comes to this reveal. Kaden Horrocks says, I really hope this is a good game. I want to see it succeed. And the way things are going, I think it's going to achieve that. It looks like it takes a lot of inspiration from Bungie's games, and I am happy about that. I grew up with Halo and seeing the MCC in such a good state makes me hopeful. 343 has it in the bag later this year. I guarantee it. On the 23rd, I think Halo is going to go back to its roots. I could totally see that happening. It does seem like uh, with this Halo Infinite game that they're pulling a lot of influence from the classic games. Uh, they even stated that the Combat Evolved, the first Halo game, is a big influence with Halo Infinite. Again, that sense of exploration, awe and wonder, and just sense of mystery, I think is what they're trying to bring back to this franchise. And uh, we're definitely getting those feels. I mean, the new Chief look, it looks just like, like an updated, awesome version of like what Halo 3's look like. It looks awesome. I'm super excited about this. And from what I've seen uh, from like the art style 
to the trailers that we've seen is very reminiscent of the classic Halo games while also being rather modern and having it be like a fresh new look and rather not just like a remastering but like a reimagining of what Halo can be. I'm gonna say your name is Judda. It says the opening cinematic and first mission. Now I could totally see that happening as well as the Discover Hope trailer is the very beginning of the game. Like that's the beginning of the game. So I would assume we'll know what happens when Chief is just about to jump out of that Pelican and we'll get some answers on that. And I think we'll just kind of flow into what, how the game opens up, which is gonna be pretty awesome because that's where you're gonna see the most uh, bombastic stuff. That's where you're gonna see the interest of the gameplay, mechanics, the world, the storyline like everything happening like that's the hook of the game is like the first hour experience of it i wouldn't put all your eggs in this basket when it comes to everything we need to know when it comes to halo infinite's reveal as we're going to get more information as we get closer to the release date they're mainly focusing on the campaign with this reveal talking about multiplayer information fair vlogs uk mentions in this post saying do you think 343 will include information about halo infinite multiplayer flights and what do you think the reveal will be i think about 20 minutes of campaign gameplay and multiplayer 343 again has stated that they're only gonna be showing the campaign but i could possibly see like a quick like 10 second 30 second teaser of multiplayer uh, to get people excited to sign up for the halo insider program i could definitely see that being a part uh, i would not expect it to be available right after or anything like that as uh obviously you want to have your uh, core fan base that's been following you know part of it and also you don't want to be the first impressions of the game to be a uh, beta honestly uh, that's one thing i'm actually kind of worried about this infinite reveal is that uh, with the flighting process people are going to see this game they're going to get information information is just going to leak it's going to happen especially with such an anticipated game like this so it really depends how this flying process goes. And that's about everything we have for this video, guys. I, I was sorry if I wasn't able to get to all your questions. There were a lot of statements, a lot of repeats, mainly a lot of people talking about the campaign and the multiplayer side of things. And I feel like we kind of touched on that. If I didn't get to your question, you know, and you feel like I didn't answer it properly, leave it in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments to try to reply to most of them as well. If you want to take part in another Q&A, as we're probably going to do one right after the Halo Infinite reveal on this channel, because I definitely want to know what your guys' thoughts are on the whole thing on top of that. If you guys want to catch us live, for the reveal, we're going to do a watch party on the Twitch channel. Link in the description down below and probably the pinned comment as well if you want to follow us on Twitch. Be part of the reveal of Halo Infinite. It's going to be exciting. There's going to be some content ripped from that stream as well. So really looking forward to that. And let's get excited for Halo Infinite on the 23rd. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate it. If you like these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you're new to the channel, you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo Infinite, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date. Check out the videos on the screen right over here if you miss any content from me. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.